Hi guys, it's me back with another review. I'm having a look at these uh, blind bag turbo changes, which are from the Transformers Last Night film. I picked up four of these from my local Tesco stores. Uh, they're about three pounds. I think there's about 12 in this series, which does have a little picture of next to it. Um, from what I can see, all the serial numbers are the same. Um, on the back here it says no way of telling which one. And you can kind of see there's a little bit in here which is see-through so you can kind of guess who that one is. And you can kind of feel through them which ones are slightly different. There's quite um, obvious ones in terms of shape and things like that. But uh, we'll see who we get. I, I, know, I think I know who this one is just from looking through and having a little look. So I'll have a look see if it, I've got it right. I just hope I've got any duplicates. Uh, yeah, so we've got um, Optimus Prime, and uh, well, there's not a lot of paint <laughs> paint apps or anything on it. It's just these red flames on the side here. The wheels don't move or anything. And then you've got him there, and I, what do you do to transform him? Um, just kind of rotate these out, and pull that back. Push that down, I think. Yeah, so you've got him in robot mode there. He looks alright in robot mode. Um, it's just kind of plastic on these, so they are pretty basic to be honest with you. But I guess, you know, what were you expecting? Um, maybe £2. I think £3 is a little bit too much for them. But uh, that's the first one anyway. And then transforming back. So just kind of pull that down and rotate these round and and push them in. It doesn't really going to place that well but uh yeah it's not too bad uh, let's see who else we've got so that's the first one i won't look through the other ones just to see who we get hopefully we don't get any duplicates or anything and uh who's this is it hound is it yeah it looks like hound uh, it's not a bad little vehicle mode again not a lot of paint on it um it's all one color so there isn't a great deal of definition although there's a lot of sculpted detail on it you just got the black paint on here and you can see them kind of underneath here and from what I can see, you just kind of, again, do you pull that back? So you've got his arms like that. Um, I think they do have, oddly enough, instructions with them, I think. Yeah, so you do get instructions with each one. I've just seen what you do with his head. So you do fold it back um, all the way, because I didn't want to kind of break it. But uh, yeah, that just folds back. And then you've got him there. So there is a bit of paint on the actual robot mode. So you've got paint around the face and the eyes, silver and blue in there, and black for his kind of beard. All but symbol paint and silver, silver here and black around here. No movement in the legs or anything. The only articulation you've got is his arms. So you've got that there. And then to transform him back, pop that down. And then just fold these up like so. So that's it. So we've got Optimus and um, I was going to say Bulkhead, but uh, it's actually um, Hound. Um, let's get this out. Keep those. Put that to the side here. And next up we have got, let's see who's in here. And oh, it's uh, kind of the stealth Bumblebee kind of one. So that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, he does have a bit of paint, so he's got the yellow going down here, otherwise it would just be a black car. And uh, from what I can see here, is he, uh, what do you do with his little legs? Pull those arms out like that. Looks like you want to take those forward. That can't be right, can it? Oh, do you swivel this round? Looks like you swivel this bit around. Ah, there you go. Swivel that around so that becomes his feet. And then you just kind of pull these out from what you can see. For his arms. Like that. Does he stand up? Have I got his legs wrong? I'm not, <laughs> the trouble is I'm not actually sure what he's supposed to actually look like. Looks like that is right with his feet out like that. Yeah, 
So I must say, oh, perhaps you've put that in there. Oh, that stands better then. There you go. So you actually tuck that bit in the back there. Uh, again, you've got the standard kind of movie bumblebee face. Um, so yeah, got yellow, black and silver paint and blue for the eyes, which is done all right. Um, soft plastic, so it does kind of move around a little bit. And obviously you've got a bit of waist articulation there. So that's not too bad. It is what it is, really. Um, and then let's have a look at the last one. Hopefully I've got a different one. Oh, I do, kind of. Um, so it looks like I've got the Bumblebee one here. So I've got the original kind of yellow Bumblebee. And again, he's probably transformed the same. Swivel that round. Pull that out. Pull it in and down. And you've got him. And his uh, robot mode. Quite cool. And then you have got two of them side by side. So pretty much exactly the same mould. And uh, that's it. That's it then. Yes, yeah, so you've got the two bumblebees here. Transform them. Bumblebee's actually got the more complex transformation out of the out of these ones, which you think, um, well, none of them are particularly complex, but you think the bumble they'd probably make the bumblebee one the easiest, as soon as that's probably the ones that kids are after more. And there you go, Optimus. So that's it. So out of all of them, probably the um, hand one's got less paint on them. But uh, yeah, they're not bad for a little, for a few quid. Like I said, probably I would price them at perhaps a pound or so less, two pounds sort of thing. But uh, they're all right, quite neat little gimmicky things, right, for kids and things like that. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching and see you all soon. Bye-bye.